Sextus Empiricus, a Greek philosopher and physician, is known for his work in the field of skepticism. According to him, the aim of skepticism is tranquility. This concept is rooted in the idea that the original goal of proto-skeptics was to achieve tranquility through their inquiry. In other words, the ultimate aim of skepticism, as per Sextus Empiricus, is to find peace and calmness. Tranquility, in the context of skepticism, refers to a state of mind that is free from disturbance or agitation. It is the absence of mental perturbation and the presence of inner peace. Sextus Empiricus argues that skepticism aims to attain this state of tranquility through the suspension of judgment and the withholding of assent to any particular belief or dogma. The pursuit of tranquility through skepticism involves the practice of epiky, which is the suspension of judgment. By refraining from making definite assertions about the external world, the skeptic aims to achieve a state of ataraxia, or undisturbedness. This state of ataraxia is characterized by freedom from distress and anxiety, and it is considered to be the ultimate goal of skepticism. According to Sextus Empiricus, the path to tranquility through skepticism also entails the withholding of assent. This means that the skeptic refrains from giving full approval to any belief or opinion, recognizing the fallibility of human judgment and the uncertainty of knowledge. By maintaining a stance of suspension and withholding assent, the skeptic aims to achieve a state of mental equilibrium and freedom from the perturbations caused by dogmatic thinking. In summary, Sextus Empiricus posits that the aim of skepticism is tranquility, which is sought through the suspension of judgment and the withholding of assent. This pursuit of tranquility involves the cultivation of a state of ataraxia, characterized by freedom from mental disturbance and inner peace. By embracing skepticism, individuals strive to attain a state of tranquility that transcends the conflicts and uncertainties of the external world.